make this block you simply need to cut two four and a half inch squares from two contrasting fabrics. To begin, mark a diagonal line across the back of one pair of squares using a lead pencil and ruler. Pair each of these with the other squares right sides together and then pin into place. At the sewing machine, place the edge of the foot along the left hand side of the pencil line and sew a quarter inch seam. Then carefully feed through the next pair of squares. Once you reach the end, remove the squares from the machine, turn them around and sew another quarter inch seam along the other side of the pencil line. Snip the joining threads and then with a ruler and blade, cut each square in half along the pencil line resulting in four half square triangle units. Next, press each seam towards the darker side of fabric using a medium to hot steamy iron. Using a set square, trim all four half square triangle units to a precise four inches. To do this, place the 45 degree line along the center seam while ensuring the four inch measurements on the ruler are within the edges of the unit. Trim off any excess along the first two edges, then spin the block around, lining up the 45 degree line with the center seam and the 4 inch measurement lines along the left and bottom edges. Trim off the excess fabric and repeat the same steps to square up the other three half square triangle units. Lay out the half square triangles in this way. Separate the rows slightly and then flip one square over onto the other. To help achieve a perfect centre join at the end, nest the two seams of the half square triangles together and then pin the edge into place. Do the same with the other pair of half square triangles by nesting the centre seams and then pinning them together. Sew a quarter inch seam along one edge and then on the other after carefully chain stitching it through. Snip the joining threads and open out each row. Press each of the centre seams towards the darker side of fabric and then give the tops a good press as well. Flip the top row over onto the bottom, nesting and pinning the two centre seams along with the rest of the edge together. Sew one last quarter inch seam along this edge, ensuring that the centre seams are lying flat before sewing over them. Open out the block and using your fingers, press the center seam open. Then with the iron, press the seam and the rest of the block flat. Lastly, square up the block so that its final measurement is seven and a half inches squared.